All right, welcome back everybody to another episode of Cities XO. On the last one, we uh, we redid this road here, We're kind of planning for the future of the city here, um, and we just kind of uh, redid the bus lines because we had to end up on doing the the bus terminal there anyways. We moved it down here and got the bigger one. Not even using all the lines, but we're just kind of uh, getting it all sorted out here. So now we're going to click play and see how these bus lines take the traffic, see if they actually help or make things worse. Um, the way I design buses, it's probably going to make things worse. But we're just going to keep an eye on the number of, ve uh, the number of vehicles, the number of riders on it. Um, so this one's obviously getting some traffic, so I'm going to bump that one up right now ahead of schedule. I think that was the main line that goes through the uh, picks up all the residents. So uh, this guy, I figured that guy would get busy too. It's a very, it doesn't have very many stops, but uh, it definitely has a lot of riders out to the manufacturing area. And that seems pretty stable. That seems pretty stable. That seems pretty stable. So we got about a 50% ridership, which is decent for the size of a city. Traffic is still a mess out here, but. Oh well, we will uh, we'll get that all sorted out at some point here in the near future. I'm not sure why all the traffic is bad coming into the city, but going out of the city, it's not that bad. That's interesting. I've had some of the same problems with uh, my other city here. So I wonder if it's a city's XL problem or what. But it's like traffic will be just terrible in one direction, but the other direction it's not. So... I can't explain what happens or why it happens, but it just it just happens. So, um, three lanes going through there. Okay, so what do we need? Jobs. Okay, well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, so oh yes, we were gonna put those motels back. We're gonna move this one over. Right, right. Of course, I should use the other tool to delete it. We'll go down here, we'll go to, make sure we click on the right one there. So we got to put this guy back, because we did take this guy out. Then we also took this other guy out. Was it this one here? I can't remember, but we'll go put this one in. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put in a little bit of retail. I think, yeah, they're pretty upset with me. Just go ahead and line this area. This can going to probably come more of a commercial area anyways. Um, I think what I would like to do, that's going to break the, the grid pattern a little bit as we move on, but what I'm going to do, hmm, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put in, oh, let's see if I can actually find it. I know it's actually under here, but I think I have to open up this area here. It's under here. Yeah, here we are. So I'm going to put in this guy here. As you can see, there's no parking lot. Um, traffic is really still backed up on that road, so let me just see what buses are doing. Okay. Probably drop that guy back down if we wanted to, but we're not worried about money right now, so we don't need to worry about that. So... We're going to go ahead and put in some parking lots. Um, where's the big... We can do those. Should we do those? What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to widen out that road, put in the stuff, and then unwiden it. Just so I know where to put stuff. Yeah, no. Um, so we got this guy here. So you want to be careful of building right off the road there, because I don't know how things are going to change. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of move it back a little bit. I think I'm going to use this one instead. Yeah, we're going to go do that instead. So we're just going to go ahead and line this road up here until about the curve. Okay. And should we put two rows in? We'll go and put two rows of this parking in. I think maybe we'll do a little bit of a smaller row. Line it up. Okay. So we're just going to kind of have a little parking area here. Just to kind of make it look a little bit better. 
uh, than it would without it. Um, I always forget where it's at. I don't know why. You know, let's go ahead and just put it in the store first and kind of see what it will look like. Because I don't want to overdo it if I can help it. Uh, turn this back on. Yeah, I see it's not that big. It's not all that big of a store. So we could actually, we might take out a couple of those. Um, let's go and take out these last three. Yeah. This is where I get indecisive a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back on here. I'm going to run that past there just so I have a marker. And we're going to go back into the stores and down here. I wonder what else I got. Oh yeah, I've got this mall pack too. Interesting. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Um, should we run a road all the way around the building or no? Yeah, you know why not. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, turn this off again. So run this along the back side of the building here. Just all the way around. Like so. And then we're going to give a little bit more parking on the side here. So let's see what fits in here. We can do that. We can do the big lot. Which actually fits almost perfectly in between there, but I don't want to do that. Do these diagonal spots. Do the small squares. We can do these guys. I think we'll do those guys. We'll do two. It does go right up the road, and I don't want to do that. So I think we're going to stop there. I just don't like how that looks, but I think we're going to be okay with that. I'm going to live with that for now. Um, we might just surround it. Ooh, that does not line up. Darn it. It's just a little off. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to worry about it then. It's going to go ahead and do that. But I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I think that's going to be okay. That doesn't look too bad. So we've got a nice target going on out here with lots of cars in the parking lot. So yeah, it's a pretty decent looking uh, lot that they built here. And uh, too bad it doesn't have a parking lot built into it like um, this one here. If you can find it. The only thing I don't like about this, uh, it's Walmart, is it doesn't look, it looks okay. It looks decent, but it doesn't look great. Um, you know, it's, it's not the most best looking thing out there, but it, it will do for sure. Um, I'm going to put in one of these here while we're at it. I think we already put one of these in. I have to be careful with these because these eat up a lot of, uh, of, what do you call it, of, uh, retail, um, demand, which is good and bad. Well, that's a small little shop, isn't it? It's crazy. I don't think we're going to worry about putting those in quite yet because I don't want to mess things up too bad. So, see how's traffic doing? It's flowing. It's definitely it's getting there. Traffic is not that bad out here, which is good. Which is very good. Um, yeah, I think I'm figuring out why the traffic is worse in one direction is because I built the bus route from here to here. And it stops there, but there's no return route that's convenient, I think, is the problem. So I think that's why. I could be wrong on that, but, you know, I, I think that's why. But definitely, definitely helped out the traffic. Like, it's still fairly bad on that road and on this road up over here, but our main road here is definitely doing a lot better. That these roads were completely red at one point so I do have to say that I have noticed an improvement so so I think where we're at we just need well we do need some more people um, we do need some more jobs in here as well though so let's go ahead and get some more of these guys we've been going fours with the streets okay perfect so we're gonna put in two squares let's start with them and see how that goes um Hmm, do we want to put add more manufacturing or more offices? I think we're going to go put in some offices over here. Um, I think we're going to go and do some medium density off the 
access roads here. I actually meant to use another tool, but this works just fine. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and use this guy in here. Okay, and then I think around these guys, we're going to go ahead and put in some of that. Okay, that looks pretty decent. So we got some offices coming in. Let's see how trading is going. If I can click the arrow, there we go. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We got a little bit of skilled. Gonna need some high tech. We'll go ahead and import that now. We don't really need to worry about it until it hits like minus two. That's why I wasn't really concerned about it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So. As you can see, we have all of, all of our bus routes. They all adapted nicely because I did these before I did this road. Maybe it wasn't the best idea, but, you know, it worked. They At least they're smart enough to figure that out. Um, yeah. So we got all the people going into work there. I think we're going to go ahead and create a turnaround um, area. Just so they don't have to go all the way up to that road there. And I think that's definitely a good idea, so... It may do some weird stuff with traffic here, but we're going to go ahead and live with it. Ooh, that does look a little odd, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and live with that. I didn't want you to go in that direction. We're going to one way that. So basically, they can turn around here without going all the way up to this road here. It's kind of kind of in the middle. Well, it's actually kind of close to that road. I guess I could have done it up over here. Hmm. I might actually put it up here. Let's see here. We go ahead. And do that. Not only will it look a little bit better, it's basically right in the middle. And whoops, dang it. Oh wow. There we go, finally. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that for now. Um, so that way they can use this as a turnaround spot. Instead of going all the way up and over here and turning around like some of these guys are still doing, but that's okay. It's their choice. Um, but it will help. There's definitely a lot of traffic turning around right now. Once the freeway comes through, that's going to change. But that's just going to be a temporary thing for now, just to kind of get it done and out of the way. So, yeah, I think we got plenty of room in between these roads for the freeway. I kind of wish I left a little bit more room. But that's okay. We'll, we'll do just fine here. I definitely like how this road curves up and around. Um, I'm not sure what I like about this so much. I just like how the curve is. It's, it's definitely nice. So these guys are doing good. I forgot these guys don't even have a bus route out here, but they probably wouldn't even really use it anyways. What are they doing? They're not doing the best, but they're definitely they're getting by. They're gonna do okay. We got jobs coming in, and I have to kind of figure out where this road's going to go. I think it's going to come down and somehow attach up into this road here. Um, let's see if we can kind of work that in here, just to kind of give us another another through road. Ooh, that curve looks terrible. That looks pretty good. I think we'll go ahead and stick with that. I don't necessarily like that curve there, but that'll that'll be okay. We can fix that up later on. But uh, it'll give them kind of another throughway through the to the city and whatnot. Um, should we pave it? Nah, we'll not worry about paving it for now. Um, so I like how that looks. Okay. So it's definitely going to be interesting when we have to start widening out some of these roads to see how we're able to do it with some of these curves in it, but I think we're okay for now. They never look the same, unfortunately. It may look good now, but it never looks the same after you have to, to change it in any way. So we got bus routes, we got cars doing great. It's actually almost green over here on the way in, so that's good. Um, I actually did a bus route that was decent, which is uh, a nice change. Um, so 60%, 40%. But that, my logic that I was saying earlier still doesn't make sense because even though it's quicker for them to get in through buses, they still got to get out through a bus because 
they're not going to load their car up on the bus. But then again, this game does work quite odd, so that's probably what they do. Yeah, I was just thinking about that, because I was like, hmm, that, that does make sense. And then I started thinking about it, I was like, no, it doesn't. But oh well. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and probably take this past this intersection here pretty soon. Uh, but not quite yet. I think we're going to... I think we're going to kind of fix this up a little bit, or at least when we take this past this intersection, it might fix it up a little bit for us. There's quite a bit of traffic coming down through here, so that's that's cool. Got some uh, freight traffic coming in, backing up there. It's definitely a good idea to take this guy out a little bit more than we did. So hopefully it will kind of mess up our lineup a little bit, but I think it'll be for the better. We can always redo this. It's only like four squares of, uh, of area here, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Got those guys coming in. 9%, 5%, 2%. So let's go ahead and add a couple more of these guys here. thought that was going to be enough, but apparently not. So I turn around, it's doing pretty good. That actually turned out really nice. So, you'll see me use some techniques in this game that you probably haven't seen before. It's just me experimenting and just trying to get my way, basically. Because um, that's basically what this game is about. It's, it's, you want it like this, you just gotta try everything you can. You don't always win. But when you do, you usually learn something new out of it, which is uh, always fun. So, traffic is backing up a little bit on this road here. See where all coming from? See where all coming from over here. So, it's cool. So, just keeping an eye on the frame rate here. Every time I, I move, it drops to like 30. But when I sit still, it sits at like 50. But that's still not where I necessarily want to be. But oh well. So we got that. That road is getting a little, a little bit of traffic on it, for sure. But that's all good. Um, maybe we should, uh, we should get a turnaround lane going in this direction as well. Yeah, I guess we could do that. Um, how is traffic? Up? Oh, so I don't want to use one of those roads if I can. One of those already intersections there. Oh, I forgot. I did it wrong. I didn't do it like I did on the last one here. Okay. So I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to go ahead and create a little bit of a turnaround lane there. That one's probably not going to be used all that much, but it will help out, especially for people who need to go back into the offices here. Again, it'll get them off of this intersection here so they can just. Actually, do they turn around? And no, they don't. So they were having to go somewhere else and do this. So that might actually help traffic a little bit. Or they might not use it at all. We'll find out. Alright. So that's good. It's all good. Okay. So I definitely like how the city's turning out. It's looking really good. It's, it's definitely built out. It's not bad for 60,000 people. We've only filled up that amount of area. Um, working on 70,000 people. Um, this area has turned out really nice and we still got tons of room to grow. And we haven't even started with the higher densities really. We're probably gonna, I'm probably gonna go ahead on this curve here. Probably from about here, this curve here, I'm probably going to try and create an apartment complex. Um, so at least what my plan is. I can't say that it'll actually work out. But it's definitely my plan, so fortunately those intersections kind of messed up the smooth little grade there that we had, but oh well, it still looks decent. I do like how that looks. Okay. So it's just slightly downhill. Ooh, nothing too major. It actually looks really nice, and it's something that Cities XL can actually cope with, which is nice for a change. 
So yeah, I think in this area we're going to go ahead and do a small little apartment complex. Nothing too big. Um, but hopefully it won't hurt the area too bad in terms of traffic. But we got we got room to grow. Traffic doesn't get bad until probably after this road here. So we're going to be okay there. So we got this area growing. Basically we're just waiting on these areas to grow up right now. Grow up. Um, kind of figuring things out here, you know. Let them grow in a little bit. We got people coming in. We got population growing. 8%. We need more executives, it looks like. Um, we're not in need for elites yet, which is great. Um, one thing I am going to try to fit in eventually is I think we got the stadium in here, right? We haven't put that, we haven't used that yet. Whoa. I've never seen that building before. That must have been new in Platinum, because I don't think I've really gone through uh, this stuff here. Hmm. And, of course, that was there. Let's see here. I'm not seeing the stadium in there. Maybe it's in here. Is that new? That is new. What is that? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I've seen that building before. I've seen that before. Okay. Well. Okay. Maybe we got rid of it. Maybe I accidentally deleted it. I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot I got this stadium. This would go nicely somewhere in the city. Not right now, of course, but eventually. Um, one thing I'm going to work on also is finding a place for um, this guy. The airport. Um, I don't think we're going to work on the international one yet. It's, a, it's just huge. And also, uh, it's not going to work. So, I think we're also going to get a, a small little harbor going somewhere off of the coast here. Uh, maybe like off of here. I'm not sure how that'll work quite yet. With the fact that we're going to have to kind of bridge and do a weird bridge up and over here. But, you know, future plans of the city. It's always good to kind of get an idea of what we want to do here. So... Um, that's all going, that's all going, they're building in, with our population, 71,000, alright, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end that episode here, we actually got quite a bit done here, so we were just kind of finishing everything up, and uh, we got some turnaround lanes here, we got some new offices in, we got some new people coming in, we got some future plans, I'm going to try and remember to leave this area open, I can't guarantee it, uh, but uh, I'll definitely try my best, because I want to build that apartment complex there, so... Hopefully with me wanting to, I'll actually remember. So, uh, yeah, as always, thanks, guys, for watching. And if you guys like this series, go and hit that subscribe and like button and all that kinds of stuff. And as always, thanks for watching.